most of us men from childhood, we've been told all these fundamental lies <laughs> about the way that men and women interact mm -hmm. in, a, in a healthy and an attractive way. Mm -hmm. It just sets guys up for so much failure and frustration, and it's not until they finally start to get experience or they're exposed to, to different kinds of content where they can learn the way the world really works, mm -hmm. that like this veil is lifted and they're like, oh, okay, this is actually how things work. Mm -hmm. If you're not getting the results you want in life, there's it's fundamentally because your worldview is wrong. Yeah, totally. The way you think the world operates got to be wrong because mm -hmm. it should be a really simple case of if I do this, this will happen. There's a lot of guys who are super frustrated with women because their mental model of how women are is fundamentally backwards. Mm -hmm. And that's not their fault, really, because really either they didn't have a father figure who was able to teach them the way the world really works, mm -hmm. or they were raised on like Disney cartoons and things like this, which all perpetuate the lie. You know, like mm -hmm. things like Lion King, Aladdin, are just like yeah. a couple that come to my mind. Like, and you might think that's not about like relationships. What you're talking? They are all of them. Like, they at all, their core, at they their are core, romance. All of them, and even if it's two lions interacting, they still portray the same wrong dynamic, mm -hmm. which fools men from early childhood into thinking, "Oh, that's how like men and women interact." There's always an element of the woman being disrespectful to the guy. Mm. And then somehow, magically, at the end, she comes around and falls in love with him. That never happens in real life. Like yeah, if, no, a, if a woman doesn't respect a man, she ain't falling in love with him. Mm -hmm. That's ever. a hard lesson, man. I've I've lost a lot of good women that way. That was a very hard lesson to learn. Is yeah. that like if you don't show up in a certain way, they lose respect for you, and you never get it back. Yeah. Once respect is lost, it's like you might as well be dead. Yeah. You don't you don't really exist as a man to her anymore. And that's that's wild to see firsthand because mm -hmm. it's like you hear that. And then you face the reality of it, and you're like, holy shit, the world is so much colder than I realized. Like, I really have to become the right kind of person to make the life I want. Yeah, and I think that's a good place for guys to get to, is to realize how cold and harsh truth of the world is. Because no one's coming to save you. Mm -hmm. You're an adult now. You have to look after yourself as a man. Society ain't, ain't here to help you. Mm -hmm. Because of this, this blank slate equalism idea that is perpetuated through the Western world, the idea that men and women are exactly the same in every regard, mm. Men grow up with this idea that, oh, women are looked after in society, so men must be looked after in society, which is fundamentally not the truth. Mm -hmm. You know, no one gives a crap. Men shouldn't go through life being fooled into thinking that they're going to be taken care of the same way that women are taken care of. Mm -hmm. Is it this mutual, like, all you are is a body, all you are is a wallet, fuck you, m meet my needs, and then I'll meet someone else later? That's a really good point. And that's where guys can get kind of taken advantage of as as wallets, like you might say, mm -hmm. foodie dates or like a sugar daddy kind mm -hmm. of situation when he is purely a monetary source for her and there's no like connection with him as a person, mm -hmm. she doesn't feel incentivized in any way to give anything else back to him. Mm -hmm. Maybe sex and maybe is her Just presence. Just placate him. Right. Like boring, like, is this over sex? Right. And guys need to recognize when they're being taken advantage of like that because no one enjoys that. The women don't really enjoy it because they don't respect those men. And that's more faulty uh, education for the men is because we're taught that like, yeah, okay, you don't want to be the like stupid simp. So the opposite is like, go be the rich jacked guy, but don't develop your character at all. Right. Have the only thing you bring of value be money and muscles. Yeah. And like, that'll be enough. Which is fundamentally wrong. Yeah. Especially in, you know, cities like LA, I guarantee you would know a bunch of like broke musicians mm -hmm. who charm the pants off women. Everywhere you go. It's insane to watch. But that tells you that there's fundamentally something that women are looking for that people aren't talking about. Mm -hmm. you know, and it's that emotional need that he is fulfilling something for her emotionally that the guy who's like, say, jacked and just has a bunch of money can't, isn't fulfilling for her mm -hmm. because he's neglected that secret source in the dynamic between men and women, which is like your ability to evoke emotions out of her. Mm -hmm. The analogy I like to use is you want to be the guy in control of the emotional roller coaster mm. in your relationship. Because women fundamentally need drama in some way. The reason telenovelas are popular is because women are addicted to drama. That's they why they don't watch porn, they read it. Yes. And it's, and it's always a story involved. It's always a story of like transformation and he, he's like the dark brooding guy and she changes him in some way or he kind of like feels attached to her in some way. But there's an emotional roller coaster involved in that storytelling which she taps into and allows her to actually you know enjoy it sexually too. Mm -hmm. And this might sound bad but if you as a man in, in the relationship aren't in control of the drama then she's gonna start mm. the drama. It's, and it's always way better when the guy's in charge. And what do you mean by that exactly? Women need the up and the down. Mm. In like that's why you, I like the analogy of an emotional roller coaster, right? Because it goes up and it goes down, right? Mm -hmm. If everything is just 
up, 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 up. Positive, 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 positive. Women get bored. Mm. Men are totally happy with that. That's all men want. Men just want, like, I just want to be happy and be pleasant. No, no drama. Cool. We're happy. We'll cuddle up on the couch, watch Netflix, have sex, eat great food, happy days. Totally. That's okay for a short period of time, but if you do that long enough, that will bore women. 